Welcome guys, in this video I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start the lab. Now log into the cloud console using the incognito window. Simply paste your username. Go back, copy the password. And simply log into the Google Cloud platform. Open the cloud shell. Now simply go to the description of this video and you will find a link of the code file. Copy all these commands. Simply run them in the cloud shell. Click authorize. Again go back to the code file. Copy the file content. Then open your notepad. Simply paste it. We have to make some changes in these lines. Go back to your lab, copy your project ID and simply replace this bucket with your project ID. Copy all the lines. Go back to the cloud shell. Simply paste them. Now you have to save this file. Press Ctrl plus X, Y then hit enter. Now go back to the lab and move to the task 3. Scroll down a bit. Then simply open this link in the incognito window. Now scroll down. And you will see this cloud storage API. Click on it. Then choose the full control option. Click authorize APIs. Choose the account. Now click on this button. And you will get your access token. Simply click on this step 2 to see the access token. Again go back to the lab. We are done with all of this. Copy this command. And paste it in the cloud shell. Now copy your access token. Simply paste it. And hit enter. Again go back to the code file. Now copy all these commands. Then simply run them in the cloud shell. Ok now again go back to the lab. Scroll down. You can check the progress. Now what we have to do. We have to download this image on our local system. Simply download it. Then copy this name. Now go to your download location and just rename this image ok now the image is renamed go back to the cloud shell simply upload this image click upload and once it is done again go back to the lab Scroll down, copy this command and this will return you the path of the image. Again go back. Now we have to create environment variable so copy this thing. Paste it. Then copy the path of image returned by the previous command. Simply paste it. Hit enter. Again go back. Then copy this command up to this point. Paste it. For the bucket name, copy a project ID. Simply paste it and hit enter. Again go back to the lab. Now copy the last command and simply run it. Now you can go back and check the progress for the last task. 